The origin story of the hero's worst nightmare. How a young villager grew up to fulfill her destiny of taking out all of the heroes inside of Clash of Clans. Here is the headhunter's backstory. The story of the headhunter begins a few months ago, back before the headhunter grew her undying desire to target all the Clash of Clans heroes. Back then, she was just a regular troop with two loving parents. Her father was a miner who worked for the village to mine gold, obviously, and her mother was just a regular villager. The father who was the miner worked very, very long hours in the mines, and his wife occasionally visited him to bring him lunch and just to say hi to him. Sometimes he would even bring his daughter along with him just so that they could see each other. So a few months ago, some big things started happening in the Clash of Clans village. The master builder had come over from the builder base island and had proposed plans to build a beautiful new landscape around the Clash of Clans base with new buildings, a sick new waterfall design, and also to upgrade the existing heroes into some sort of automated killing machines. Once the master builder's plans were accepted by the Clash of Clans chief, he began getting things going. He ordered the builders to start drafting out designs for buildings and then to start building them. And then he ordered a group of miners to begin digging the foundations of some other larger buildings. The miner of our story was assigned to work on this one site that was towards the bottom of the village. The miner was responsible for digging a massive hole in the ground so that they could support the buildings with a strong foundation. A few days went by and the miner had already dug a giant crater in the ground. And then one day the miner's wife decided to come visit the miner and bring their daughter along with them and they all ate lunch together. They sat down at the edge of one of the mines and began eating the lunch. The daughter finished hers first and ran off to go explore the construction site while the mother and father continued to eat their lunch in peace. While the daughter was playing, the master builder was driving a large construction machine over to his workshop where he was working on upgrading the heroes into machines. On his way there, he was transporting a ton of heavy duty equipment and some parts to construct the heroes like the Barbarian King's head, his sword, the Archer Queen's head and her bow, and many other parts. His machine ended up hitting a bump and the cargo swayed side to side until it toppled over. The heavy duty machinery and all the hero parts fell off the machine and fell into the construction site where the miner and villager were eating lunch. Everything fell down and unfortunately landed on top of the miner and villager. The impact killed them instantly, however lucky enough the young daughter was off plane and she was able to avoid getting hit by any of the falling debris. The builder who was driving the machine assumed there was no one down there and continued on with his day and went back to go get more resources. However, when all of the dust settled, the daughter ran up to where her parents were and saw their bodies laying there by one of the mine's entrances and they weren't moving. She then saw the Barbarian Kings and Archer Queens giant heads sitting right next to her parents' dead bodies. Right before running off, the daughter took one last long look at the Barbarian King and Archer Queen's face and vowed that they would pay for taking her parents away from her. The daughter then ran off and tried her best to carry on with her life without any parents. As the daughter grew up, she knew that there was no way she would ever be as powerful as the heroes, and so she began learning about potions and spells in hopes that those could help give her a slight advantage. She got so good with them that she ended up working as an apothecary as her daytime job. But when she wasn't working as an apothecary, she was out either scouting the heroes or strategizing how she would strike one day. While she was at work, she would also practice throwing these razor sharp cards that she would coat in a poison spell. She practiced so much that she could eventually throw them with razor sharp accuracy and hit a hero from a distance away. After a long time, finally the day came, when the Hut Hunter was ready to finally take out the heroes. She had been planning this for months and she was going to strike the heroes as they were resting after a long hard fought battle. When the time came, the Head Hunter snuck up on the heroes and raised her arms to throw her poison cards. She hit the heroes a few times each where they each had hardly any health left. The poison effect slowed the heroes down so much that they couldn't get up and defend themselves. Lucky enough for the heroes, the village chief was coming by to see them anyways, and when he got there he saw the headhunter and ordered his guards to stop her. So before the headhunter could deliver the finishing blows to the heroes, she was disarmed by the chief and his guards. The chief questioned the headhunter as to why she was doing this and why she was trying to take out the heroes, and the headhunter then explained to him about how they killed her parents and how they deserved it. But rather than trying to explain to her that it wasn't actually the heroes who did this, he decided to instead channel the headhunter's anger into helping his army. After seeing what she was single-handedly able to do to some of the most powerful heroes in all of the Clash lands, he figured that it'd be nice to have her on his side and that she could really benefit his army. He told her that it wasn't actually these heroes and rather it was the heroes from other villages. He told her that, the, that he would be more than happy to guide her to the actual heroes who killed her parents. The headhunter who was fueled by anger agreed to this and joined the king's army where she will continue hunting enemy heroes until they are all finally rid of this world. The story of the headhunter is still ongoing as she was just introduced into the world of Clash, 
and only time will tell what happens from here on out. And that there concludes the origin story of how the Headhunter was introduced into the Clash of Clans world. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed, and comment down below if you like this new troop so far, or if it's sort of just meh. Personally, I love the concept of it, and I can't wait to unlock it myself. I've got a brand new upload schedule as well, where I'll be posting every Monday and Friday. Um, I'll be coming out with more detail on exactly what time I will be posting and what kind of content, so make sure you subscribe for that and come back when I post my next story video, which, will, by the way, will be very soon and is a long-anticipated story that a lot of people have been asking for. In the meantime, feel free to check out my playlist of all the past stories that I've done so that you can catch up on any other Troop Origin stories that you may have missed. I'll have that linked at the end of the video. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Oh, and also, thank you guys all so much for 500,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough.